In this video, I am going to show you how you can create this kind of beautiful text scrolling effect using Elementor. So here you can see as I scroll down the sc screen, one of the strip is scrolling toward the left and the other one is scrolling towards the right. So if you want to learn how you can create the same effect in your WordPress based Elementor's website, then without further ado, let's get started. But before we actually jump into the video, if you have any question regarding this video or this effect, you can drop that into the comment section and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. So let's get started now. So right here you can see I am already logged into my Elementor's website and my Elementor page builder is already working. So before you actually start creating this effect, you need to understand that you need to have a section at the top and a section at the bottom of your website. If you don't have any section at the top and the bottom, the effect will not work. So you need to ensure to have something at the top and something at the bottom. So let's just get started now. First of all, let's just add a tiny spacer in there so that we will have some space between there now we can actually start creating our effect so take a container and once you will take a container give it a class of full width and once you will give it full width class make sure to remove any padding that comes with the container now insert a child container there and do the same thing give make it full width and remove any padding that comes here now what you actually want to do is to copy a text element and paste in the text element there and let's just add a white background here as well so here is the white background all right so what you can actually do is to take the child container and then if you want you can give it some sort of padding here I'll copy this image here and then I'll paste the image here. Now I want to duplicate all of these elements a couple of times so that we'll have some elements inside of our scrolling effect. So I'll just copy and paste all of these elements. By the way, you can easily change the text here. You can change the images or you can add the SVGs, icons, anything that you want that Elementors allows you to do. That is completely your choice. So once you will insert the element, select the child container then go to the layout tab and inside the layout tab change the direction to row as soon as you will change the direction to row everything will be stacked just like this now align the uh, items in the center so that everything should be aligned perfectly aligned in the center now that we have this strip created we can actually start implementing the style we do not need any third party plugin and you do not need any kind of css code in order to apply this effect so go to this advanced settings and in the advanced settings first of all uh, make sure you are selected on the child container then go to the motion effects and inside the motion effects click on scrolling effect then on the scrolling effect, make sure you click on horizontal scroll because we are going to have this horizontal scroll here. And here you can adjust the speed. The greater the number, the higher will be the speed. The lower the number, the slowest will be the speed. So this is the rule. All right. Next up, we have this viewport property. You can play around with the viewport properties that depends based on the viewport. So if you have a larger screen, the effects will be different and for the smaller screen the effect will be different and that is actually based on the percentages of your viewport so this uh, strip at the center is actually the 50 percent of your screen so uh, i think this is the 50 percent of my screen so uh, this effect will take place when the top will reach at 88 percent and the bottom is at 13 percent and as soon as i um, move away the viewport the effect will turns off and as soon as I reach the viewport the effect will start working again so this is how these values works then you have properties if you want to apply the effects on desktop tablet portrait and the mobile portrait or you want to specify on the devices you have the complete control over these things after that you can apply the effects relative values whether you want the effects to be relative to viewport that is whenever the strips comes in the viewport or for the entire page so my page is not actually very long 
Uh, so both of these values doesn't actually matter. If you have a long page, then entire page value might not be useful for you. So in uh, optimal solutions or optimal cases, you wanna use the viewport settings here. That will be the optimal solution for your website. Now, as you can see, we have this horizontal bar here and we don't actually need this bar. So in order to fix this bar, that uh, what you wanna do is to select your parent container, then you wanna go to the layout tab, then go to this additional options and make sure the overflow is hidden. As soon as you will do that, that horizontal bar will be gone. Now that we have crafted this effect here, now here is the last thing that I wanna tell you and that is how you can uh, rotate this thing using Elementor. So in order to rotate this, there is a simple trick. Go to this transform tab, and make sure you have this parent container selected and then click on rotate and in here you can define your value so i'll give it 0.5 for the rotate value and here you can see my strip is already rotated so in this way you can also rotate these strips as well i hope you have learned something new from this video if you have learned something new from this video make sure to hit the subscribe button be sure to hit the bell icon to always get the latest video updates Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.